Morning everybody, it's Richard Van Camp here. I'm in the uh, ravine in Edmonton, Alberta, Treaty 6 country. A nice fire going. I want to tell you a good story about angel wing splash pattern. We're really proud that it turned 20 years old. I wanted to thank uh, Kateri Ekowenzi Dam. I wanted to thank Renee K. Abram for believing in the collection when it was just starting out 20 years ago. I'll tell you a little story about how uh, mermaids came to be the first short story in the collection. And it's actually for free, it's narrated for free by Ben Cardinal, who's a Cree actor. He was uh, on North of 60 and man, he's got that bad boy growl. He's got that voice, that million dollar voice. Sounds like he's been raised on a steady diet of broken promises and bitter tears, that guy. He's a great, phenomenal actor and uh, he was the voice of Torchy and will always be the voice of Torchy. So when I was back from the University of Victoria, I had my degree. I had nothing. I ended up buying Terry Popplestone's trailer in Fort Smith. He sold it to me fully furnished for a, for a steal. And I think because he could see that I was returning home and I was starting out and I really wanted to honor the North and honor Fort Smith. So he and his wife sold me their trailer and the college sold me the land. And boy, I had a nice little pie lot there and 14 by 68 trailer fully furnished. And you'd never know you were in a, in a trailer when you came into my little home. It was just like the Shire. It's like you're walking into a, a hobbit house, eh? Anyways, one night, my friend Trika McDonald called me. And she said, I was really late at night. And she said, Richard, I want to take you out for... Um... She goes, you know what? Better yet, she said. I just found something for you. I was just cashing out at the bar. It's when she used to own the Arctic Oasis in Fort Smith, Northwest Territory. It's our hometown. She said, I was just... Uh cleaning out the till and um, I found something for you so tomorrow you're gonna buy me coffee fries extra gravy and you're gonna bring me a five dollar bill and I was like what what kind of situation is this I said all right okay yeah Tricky used to babysit me a long time ago eh, with uh with uh Mrs. Tordiff there Rhoda Tordiff Rhonda Tordiff I, I have sorry I can't remember anyways so she said um you know, show up tomorrow and bring me this five bucks and uh, and buy me fries and gravy and a coffee. I said, sure. So we met at Coffee Break and in Fort Smith at the Pelican. And I showed up and boy, she'd already ordered the coffee and gravy and fries. Oh man, the smell of hot ketchup, eh? Ooh, just the best. And coffee was just hot and I had my cream and my honey and Wallace was working that day and he's just pouring, you know the cup and I said uh well Trika I said this is great I said so what did you get last night she goes you're not going to believe it Richard she says I was cashing out of my um of the bar last night and somebody had written on the back of this five dollar bill that I'm going to give you a story that I think you need to write you need to write about who wrote this and where they were sitting when they wrote it and I said sure so I gave her a $5 bill to trade and she gave me a $5 bill back and I still have this $5 bill. And in a red crayon, somebody had written, my mother was cursed the day she bore me. I am faint with envy of the dead. When I read that, I, I had the chills. And she said, who in this town would have written that last night in the bar? You tell that story, Richard. And immediately, that's how I was introduced to Torchy and to Stephanie and Sven and Snowbird. And that's really how Mermaids, one of my most famous short stories, ever came to be. And I really want to thank Trika McDonald for, for gifting me that, that $5 bill. And, and from there, that's how Angel Wing Splash Pattern came to be. And no writer works alone. It's our family and our friends and our editors and our publishers. And I'm so grateful to everybody who's, who's lent a hand to get me to where I am today as a writer and as a storyteller and as an author. I'm grateful to you all. I really want to thank Patricia at, uh, at Kegadon's Press. She had found a couple of typos that we missed in the earlier editions. And uh, she's a great marketing executive. And uh, I'm so grateful to everybody. So Musi Cho, enjoy your day. And uh, Trika, Musi Cho for, for giving me the wings I needed to, to dive deep into Angel Wing Splash Pattern. Enjoy the collection. It's 20 years old. We earned every single word. And the best part of Angel Wing is that there's a new introduction where I talk about the birth and the growth of Indigenous literature in Canada. And then we've also included two comic books at the end. So Mermaids has been adapted into a, a little comic book by Scott Henderson, the maestro himself. 
And uh, we also have Chris Ochter, who is Haida. And uh, he adapted a little story I wrote called Hickey Gone Wrong, which is now a movie. Okay, enjoy. I hope you buy the book. You can buy it from me, Richard Van Camp. You can write to me on Facebook or vancamprichard at gmail.com. You can order it from my two favorite stores. Well, I've got so many beautiful favorite stores across Canada. There's Monroe's in Victoria. There's the Yellowknife Bookseller in Yellowknife, which is 41 years old this year. Judith Drinnen and her team, we say a huge musty show to you for all that you've done to help us as Northern writers and help build our literature in the Northwest Territories. And also I want to really honor Audrey's books here in Edmonton. So if you don't want to send old Van Camp some Sunyao, that's okay. Um, you can send it to Audrey's books or Monroe's books or the Yellowknife bookseller. You can go to you know, any independent bookseller and then there's always online as well. Okay, so thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.